A lot of you guys have been asking for it, and I have it right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you the watch faces I like to use on my Apple Watch Ultra, as well as the complications and why in today's video. So sit back and relax, and let's go ahead and get started. So this is my Apple Watch Ultra. My favorite watch face out of all of them is the Wayfinder for a few reasons. Not only does it look cool, but this is an amazing feature, but you can always tap and it will actually switch to like the different like dial screen display for your minutes and stuff. But I prefer using the gyroscope just because it just moves. And of course, the Wayfinder scroll up will actually turn it into night mode, which this mode, when enabled at night, it's supposed to be good for your night vision. So it doesn't like mess up your night vision uh, with this mode enabled, of course. But the complications that I use is basically this one wheel. It's just my one wheel that I like to use. I've done a whole dedicated review on my one wheel board in this video. You can go ahead and watch. But it basically displays the speed limit I'm going, how much battery range I'm at, I have, as well as the battery percentage. So that's the one wheel in a nutshell. This app right here allows me to actually control my Tesla, as well as monitor the battery life percentage, as well as see how much range I have. And this app is pretty cool due to the fact that I can actually use my Apple Watch as the car key. So I don't need my iPhone to get have access to my vehicle, as well as drive off. I can basically monitor everything right here. The other app I like using is Quick Record or yeah, Press Record. Let me see, I forgot the name of this. Just Press Record, that's the name. I have this as a complication whenever I have to memorize something quickly without having to like take notes or I don't have access to like a notepad or something like that or a sticky note even. I could just tap right here and immediately begins recording whatever audio that these microphones picking up. And once I tap done, it saves it and I could go back and listen to it right here. I actually will play the audio using the Apple Watch external speakers or internal speakers, I'm sorry. And if you tap right here, you can actually send that audio log to your iPhone as well, or delete it or delete all. I like it. It keeps everything nice and organized by the date, by default, automatically. And it just works whenever you launch the app. Now this next one, this is just the weather app. Nothing out of the ordinary. That's the weather complication. Sometimes I do swap this with Carrot. I don't know why I don't have it swapped with Carrot. I prefer Carrot, but uh, I, a weather app. I just like to know the current climate. And then down here, it's just the time because sometimes uh, reading analog takes me a little while. I'm sorry for not being the brightest, I guess, but I do know how to read analog, but i much rather see the exact minute than guess to make the minute with these large hands. And then down here, I have my activities. This is what I use primarily to compete with my friends, but also to see how many calories I'm going. Uh, I burn throughout the day and seeing how many steps I have to make sure I'm burning or reaching my step goals that I have daily as well as like monitor the awards and stuff that's going on just to be competitive and motivate myself to be active. Aside from that, that's the Wayfinder watch face I like to use. Other watch faces I usually switch to is this one. This is just a rock. I used the ultra wide lens on my iPhone 14 and that was the outcome. So as a funny inside joke I have with my friends, that's that watch face. Another one is this one. It's just a funny meme I referenced in a couple of videos already. I'll include this image where you can download it and have it installed on your Apple Watch too if you like to also mimic this. Just keep the time and, do, uh, and just remove the weather complication that's on the bottom and it fits perfectly fine in this black Batman speak icon pop bubble. But to the most part, that's my Apple Watch setup in a nutshell. Uh, again, links to these third party apps and everything else will be in the video description down below. So there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you'd like to watch more, maybe watch like a top 10 free apps to download video. You can go ahead and check out that video right over there. You can go ahead and watch that video, which I highly recommend because some of those apps I still use day to day, even on my main device on my Apple Watch Ultra. Anyway, folks, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.